The second distribution we are, we are going to consider here, the normal distribution. The normal distribution is being characterized as follows. It is continuous distribution from negative infinity to positive infinity. The line does not break of the curve. Smooth curve. It has a pill-shaped curve. The meaning of pill shaped is a symmetric distribution. Symmetry means that the mode divides the distribution into two halves. Each half is the mirror of the other half. For normal distribution, mean equal median equal mode, and the area under the curve equal the total probability equal one. Most important characteristic if we moved away one standard deviation from the mean, we find 68% of the total area within one standard deviation. In other words, between mu minus sigma to mu plus sigma, there is a 68% of the area. And if we move two standard deviation away of the mean, in other words, between mu minus 2 sigma to mu plus 2 sigma, there is approximately 95% of the total area of the total percent or 0.95 probability. And within a three standard deviation from the mean, or by notation, from mu minus 3 sigma to mu plus 3 sigma, we have 99.7% of the total area of the population. That's the mean there is only 0.3% lies on the either side of three standard three standard deviation away from the mean. For 1.5 or 0.15% to the left side of mu minus 3 sigma and 0.15 to the right side of mu plus 2 sigma. The normal distribution can be fully described by two parameters, its mean, mu, and the standard deviation, sigma. So for different mu, different sigma, we have different normal distribution. For that case, we say a family of normal distribution. If you look for the figure to the, right, to the left hand side, this has a narrow, for the high peak, narrow standard deviation, while the dashed one has a large variability, large sigma. But both having the same mean. If you look to the other side, to the graph to the right, they have the same sigma, but they have a different mean. The mean of the dashed line located to left, a line dropped from the top, and the mean value for the solid one is right to the right, a line dropped from the top of the curve. So mu change the location of distribution, while sigma affect its shape. For that case, we call it shape parameter and location parameter. The probability density function of the normal distribution is given by f of x equal 1 over sigma multiplied by the square root of 2 pi, all terms multiplied by e to the minus half of x minus mu over sigma all square. You may not memorize this function, but here we find several parameters mentioned here. Mu is the mean value, sigma the standard deviation, pi, you know pi is 22 divided 7 or 3.14159, etc. E is the natural base, which is approximately 2.718281828 repeated. 
mu is a central point of the normal distribution. It divides the distribution into two half. Half of the probability lies to the left of mu and the other half to the right of mu. So probability x less than mu equal probability x greater than mu equal half. The total probability always equal one. In chapter three, we have mentioned this score or the standardized form. Here, we can recall the standardization or the standardized form for normal distribution. And instead of creating a specific table for each normal distribution, we can use a single distribution called standard normal distribution. By having a V, where Z equal X minus mu divide sigma. In the case of normal distribution, if X has normal distribution with mean equal mu, standard deviation equal sigma, then this score has standard normal distribution with the mean value equal zero and standard deviation equal one. You can prove that Z has a normal or a standard normal distribution with the mean equal zero and standard deviation equal one or a variance equal one. If you have keen back book at the end of the book in the appendix, a table A5 is full detailed probability values for these score or Z distribution or the standard norm distribution. From that table, we can calculate any probability, needed probability. We can create that table using a software or using any type of programming language to compute the probability between zero and a given positive value A. Table a5 gives the total area under z score between 0 and any point on the positive z axis. Since the curve is symmetric, the area under the curve between z and 0 is the same whether z is curve is a positive or negative. So the probability from, from minus a to zero is similar from probability for probability from zero to a on the right or positive side. Here is the part of the z table or table a5. Consider the first row. A value of z is listed with 0.01% ahead, 0.01 step. So start from point 0, jump to point 0 0.01, point 0 0.02, point 0 0.03, up to point 0 0.09. And the first column to the left of that table, also a value of z, but here it is to move step point 0.1. So start 0, 0.1 or 0 0.10, 0 0.20, 0 0.30, 0 0.90, up downward to 3.50. So if we are interested to find the probability of 0 less than d less than 1.27, the value 1.27 is separated into two quantities. 1.2 or 1.20 plus 0.07. 1.20 is being read from the first column to the left. 0.07 is being read from the top row, first row. Just think there is two line parallel or upright. At 
a line goes down from 0.07, line goes horizontal from 1.2, they met at a value, you can read it from the table, 0.389. Try to find this value when you hear that lecture. This is the probability that D between 0 and 1.27. Suppose we need to find the probability of Z between 0 and 1, the brown area on the curve to the left. So 0 from the top row, 1 from the first column to the left, look for the green arrow, and the probability between the rounded brown line, rounded shape, rounded brown shape, and the arrow goes for 0.3413, so 0 0.01, 1.0 from the first column, 0 from the first row, and the radius around on rounded brown arrow is the needed probability. We can transfer from normal distribution to standard normal distribution. Suppose x is normally distributed with mu equal 485 and sigma equal 105. So if we need to find the probability of x between 485 and 600. So 485 of x is equivalent as zero value for z. And 600 of x is equivalent to 1.1 of z. Look for how can we transfer from x to z in the red rectangular shape for x equal 485, z equal x minus mu divided sigma for 805 minus 485 divided 105, you get a zero. For x equal 600, z equal x minus mu divided sigma, 600 minus 485 divided 105, you get 1.1. And as we did before, the value 1.1 from the first column look for the green arrow and below zero from the first column and the value inside the blue shape is the probability we are looking for 0.3643 another example Suppose x is normally distributed with mu equal 494 and sigma equal 100. And you are interested to find the probability that x less than or equal 550. So using the same transformation, z equal x minus mu divided sigma, substitute x by 550, mu by 494, sigma by 100, we get 0.56. So, probability that x less than or equal 550 is equivalent to the probability z less than 0.56. So we, are, we need the whole yellow area on the figure at the right side. So the area below 0 is half, plus the area from 0 to 0.56 from the table is 0.2123. And the total will be 0.7123. For the same example, if we interested to find the probability of x greater than 700, so we transfer from x to z using the form z equal x minus mu divided sigma, substitute x by 700, mu by 494, sigma by 100. So for 700 minus 494 divide 100, we get 2.06. So the probability that x greater than 700 is equivalent to probability that z greater than 2.06.
we don't have that straight from the table, but we can separate that into two half or into two, two parts. The probability that d greater than zero, which is half, minus the probability of d between zero and 2.06 from the table, we find that value equal 0.48803. So half minus 0.4803, we get 0 0.0. One Once again, for the same sum, for the for the same example, if we interested to find the probability 300 less than x less than 600, we compute or we transfer from x to z twice. So for x equals 300, z equals x minus mu divided sigma equals 300 minus 494 divided 100 will be negative 1.94 and second substitute for x equals 600 in z z equals x minus mu divided sigma so 600 minus 494 divided 100 we get 1.06 so we need the probability 300 less than x less than 600 is equivalent to probability from negative 1.94 of z less than 1.06 so we have two area from negative 1.94 to zero, that's in one hand, and from zero to 1.06 on the second hand, we find the post probability from the table, one equal 0.4738, the second one 0.3554, so the total probability 0.8292. From these different situation, we put a rule. If zero inside the desired region, we add. If zero inside our region, we put plus sign. If zero outside our region or our interested area outside, then we put a negative sign. So. Zero outside, we subtract. Zero inside, we add. Or in other words, if d between two different signs, negative, positive, then we add. If the sign of the both side of d are the same, both negative or both positive, then we subtract. The third distribution we are going to consider in continuous type exponential distribution or the lifetime distribution. It is another common continuous distribution. It's extended from zero to infinity. It is a positive distribution. For example, the time until a light bulb works is known to follow an exponential distribution. It is skewed to the right. It is not bell-shaped curve. It is skewed to the right, having a long tail to, towards the right. A big is always at x equal zero. Steadily decreases as x getting larger. So it goes down until it touch the x-axis. The probability density function is written as f of x equal lambda e to the minus lambda x for x greater than or equal zero. Lambda is always positive greater than zero. Sometimes we call lambda as the risk parameter or hazard rate. In this graph, we present several curve for exponential distribution. So the top solid black line for lambda equal to, the dashed red line for lambda equal one, and the green line at the bottom is for lambda equal 0.5. So as we mentioned for normal distribution, we have also an exponential family as well.
The expectation and variance of the exponential distribution depend on the value of lambda, as it is inversely proportional to it. So we find that mu equal expected value of x equal 1 over lambda, while sigma square for variance x equal 1 over lambda square, or sigma square equal mu square and sigma equal mu. Put that in mind. Very special characteristic for of exponential distribution. The exponential distribution is characterized by the amnesia, amnesia characteristic or lack of memory. As the curve takes the same shape at whatever point the value of random variable x begins at. Also, the cumulative distribution function for the exponential is given by capital F of x equal probability cap x less than or equal small x, which equal 1 minus e to minus lambda x. And the value of e to the minus lambda x we call it survival function, and you know how to compute it from using your calculator, as we mentioned that in Poisson distribution. Suppose, as an example, if lambda equal 1.2, and we are interested to find the probability x greater than or equal to given lambda equal 1.2, which is equivalent to e to the minus 1.2 times 2. You can compute the value of negative 2.4 using your calculator, as we mentioned in positive distribution. Press shift, press len, press negative 2.4, and then press equal, and you read on your screen, you'll find 0 0.0907. And that's the end of our lecture. Best of time, and goodbye for the time being. Thank you.